Those stories in just a moment. First, breaking news just into our newsroom. Authorities in Pulaski County are searching the Ohio River right now for a man they believe to be dead. Good evening, everyone. Another special session kicked off in Springfield today, but once again, nothing got done to help Illinois schools. To warrant Wednesday now, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department needs help finding a woman deputies call a repeat offender. Outrage tonight after a Florida woman posted video on Facebook of this snake biting her one-year-old child. And we want to warn you, some may find the images in this story upsetting. So what should you do if you think you've downloaded a malicious app? Well, first, experts say delete it. Then you should restore your phone back to its factory settings. And finally, change all of your passwords. The DeCoin State Fair kicks off tonight. A true sign it's underway. The annual Twilight Parade, which will begin any minute now. I just want to let people know I'm out here for the first time volunteering. It's a little chilly out, but it's going very well. But you need a lot more people like me to come out and donate like this gentleman right so here. Much. Thank you so much, sir. We've had several weather reports, damage reports, and at least one confirmed tornado in northwestern Jackson County. And we do now want to show you some video that we're just now getting in from Perryville. Now, this is where we had um, some damage reports from that area. You can see it here. We have another picture to show you. This is out of Virgins. This is farm equipment that we're being told that's been destroyed. And we did hear from Perryville Fire Department. They have confirmed one death. They wouldn't say where exactly if it was from this crash or another incident in the area, but they did say it was a storm related death or a boiler exploded blowing off the side of the building and you can just take a look here. This is an exclusive look at the scene from sky three. You can see that the building this part right here all exploded debris everywhere. Even those NASA scientists say what they experience on Monday will leave them in awe. NASA will also conduct scientific experiments Monday to get a better understanding of the sun and the corona of the sun. Yeah, they say the best way to do that is to get a pair of these eclipse glasses, of course. We had plenty of moments all day where we had a lot of sun beaming down on us just like it is right now. And the crowd here, well, it was like a party here. The stands are empty right now, but when those clouds did roll into and over the eclipse, well, the force was strong in these stands and the folks here got at least a glimpse. There were about 55 veterans that went on this trip, so it's taking them a little while to come off of the plane. As you can imagine, it's been a very long, exciting, emotional, and as you can imagine, exhausting day for them. So we're just giving them a little time to come off and take things slow and get on through all of this next excitement for all of the cheering they're sure to hear in just a minute. This is lined outside of the airport. We're, we're not even inside of the airport, which is packed, by the way. And beyond that, on the tarmac, on the runway, there's more people lined up to the plane to welcome these veterans back from just an incredible day that they have had in Washington, D.C. to see those monuments in their honor. We also have Salukis here, some cheerleaders that have come out to show their support. Tell me, guys, why you all decided to come out to welcome the veterans home. A Shawnee chapter of the Marine Corps League, and I would like to introduce you now to Mark. Um, Mark, tell me a little bit about what made you all come out to support tonight. Well, hey, if you still have shopping to do, you may want to add a Southern Illinois man's invention to your cart this holiday season. The Monkey Town man transformed his idea into a real product. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in Mount Vernon, and an annual tradition is brightening up the town tonight. News 3's Brandon Richard joins us live from the annual Christmas in the Park celebration. Your dog <laughs> probably wouldn't like that well, one. Well, there are a lot of cats on this one, but you know, it's okay. It's supposed to be an ugly Christmas. It's not ugly. Sweater. It's no, it, nice. It, it's, you know, it's fun, and that's because today marks National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. Welcome to another edition of Talking Politics. This week, President Trump's plan to repeal and replace Obamacare ran into some roadblocks. And joining me to discuss it all is John Jackson with SIU. So we know that he's gotten some pushback from Democrats, of course, some Republicans. But what do Illinoisans think about the plan to repeal and replace Obamacare? All right, when you think of the robot, you probably think of some stiff movements. I'm going to spare you my lame attempt <laughs> at it for sure tonight. But the one most people are talking about is that Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes mashup, although I don't know why you can't just buy the two and pour them in the same bowl. Sometimes I think we try too hard. 